For wind power to continue to play a major role toward American energy independence, larger turbines are needed with lower costs of energy that take advantage of the incredible wind energy resources of offshore wind power. Offshore wind turbines that can produce 10 times more power while cutting the cost of wind energy in half require a new design approach since traditional upwind blades are too expensive and heavy to avoid striking the tower. This problem becomes more and more challenging as production wind turbines are scaled up to extreme sizes. So how will rotors adapt for extreme scales? A team of researchers and wind power experts has shown that a design that can morph and align with the wind has dramatically reduced forces since they are aligned with the blade path. This go-with-the-flow design approach was bio-inspired from palm trees whose trunks can morph and align to survive hurricane force wind. The University of Virginia is leading a new Department of Energy ARPA-E effort to design extreme scale blades that are 200 meters long. Such blades can power 50 megawatt wind turbines that are 10 times more powerful than current wind turbines and taller than the Eiffel Tower. The team includes world aerodynamics experts from the University of Illinois who are examining new concepts in downwind airfoil blade design. The structural configuration is being developed by Sandia National Labs, who are showing that downwind morphing rotors can be built not only much lighter than traditional designs, but also may be segmented. Blade segmentation allows for much simpler fabrication, transportation, and assembly, which can reduce costs by as much as 50%. The advanced system to pitch and morph the blades is led by experts in state-of-the-art control techniques from the University of Colorado and the Colorado School of Mines. The team has even demonstrated that stowing the morphing blades under extreme wind conditions substantially increases resistance to hurricanes. To investigate these novel concepts, the National Renewable Energy Lab will test the segmented ultralight blades in the mountains of Colorado on a 12-story turbine tower. Close collaboration with the world's top turbine companies is also supporting market deployment and allowing for accurate cost estimations. Over the next three years, this high-risk, high-reward venture is moving from conceptual design to scaled demonstrator. Achieving the ultimate goal of 50 megawatt wind turbines will be a major step toward unlocking the significant opportunities of U.S. offshore wind power where the environmental impact is modest and the wind resource is massive.